Hey friends, it's Jess and Jericho, and maybe you're wondering why do some cat foods require a prescription? Last week, we took a look at the prescription diet versus an over-the-counter diet, and there weren't many differences. Basically, the prescription diets are a way to fix prices and charge more for something that isn't really that different compared to the over-the-counter cat foods that do not require a prescription. And when you look at the ingredients, there's no actual medicine in the product, which is concerning because it requires a prescription and it costs more. And it also says on the label that it's intended to cure or mitigate some form of health issue. And federal law defines any product that makes a claim to cure, treat, or mitigate disease as a drug but prescription foods are not held to federal law. There is an FDA compliance policy with regard to animal products that are used to cure, mitigate, or treat diseases. Note, compliance policy, not federal law. So this policy discusses prescription diets and on every single page, it says, contains non-binding recommendations. And in the intro, it states, in general, FDA's guidance documents do not establish legally enforceable responsibilities. The use of the word should in agency guidances means that something is suggested or recommended, but not required. So that just proves to, sh to show us that the FDA doesn't regulate it. There are no laws governing prescription foods. These are just recommendations and guidances that you should do, but are not required to do. So again, there's no actual medicine in the product and there's no actual law that regulates these products. The only guidances and suggestions are that these foods are only available through veterinarians and through a prescription. There are other guidances and recommendations in this document. There's a link in the description below with all of the resources that I use. It has everything that I talk about and I'll include this in that as well. Now I mentioned earlier that last week we took a look at a prescription diet and an over-the-counter diet that were made by the same brand. And we found that the prescription diet had, was lower in meat-based protein, higher in carbs, and we know that because of the product name rules and the guaranteed analysis, plus the ingredients list. The one of the prescription diet had more of those carbohydrate-rich ingredients whereas the one that's over the counter that doesn't require a prescription and it also costs less, doesn't ha it has more meat and it's lower in carbohydrates. And we know that the carbohydrate amount is accurate because on the brand's website, they actually tell you the number of carbs on a dry matter basis, so we don't even have to guess. Give me a polydactyl thumbs up if this is helpful so far. Some more cat parents that wanna feed their cat better can find this video. Thank you. Another interesting note to add is that this one vet, vet recommended brand, it rhymes with Pills Riot. They have actually trademarked the term prescription diet, and it's part of their logo. So basically this term cannot be used by any other pet food company, and you might notice that they have to use the phrase therapeutic diet or veterinary diet. They cannot use the phrase prescription diet because it's trademarked as part of Pills Riot's logo. And there's even a lawsuit against these vet recommended prescription brands because there's no actual medicine in the product. And under federal law, it says if it's intended to cure, mitigate, or treat a disease, it's considered a drug but there's no actual drugs, medicines in the product, plus a prescription is required, plus it's more expensive. And this isn't the only class action lawsuit against this company. Back in January of 2019, this company had a massive recall of dog foods that contained excessive levels of vitamin D, which is toxic. Vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin, and you can't just shed any excess. It stays in the body and this causes toxicity, which is deadly. So initially they recalled 25 products and then two months later they expanded that recall to include an additional 19 products. And that was recently. So you hear all these things like, oh, make sure it's vet recommended. Oh, you need a prescription for it. But 
it really isn't that much better. And the fact that it's complete and balanced doesn't make it perfect because you have these excessive levels of vitamin D, massive recalls, not just one product, it was like 83 different lots of products and 33 different SKU numbers of products. That's massive. And if you wanna check out that comparison of over-the-counter versus script, you can check out this video right over Mia. Thanks for watching.